my name is Sigrid and I am very excited today to tell you all about Christmas in Norway. Go you! Yes, that's how you say Merry Christmas in my country. So now let's all try it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Go you! Yes! Someone is very excited to say it. Uh, go you! 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 Uh, that's strange. I've never heard that echo before. Uh, go you! You! you, you. Uh, now, to truly understand about Christmas in Norway, you must know about these wonderful yet strange little creatures we call Nisse or gnomes. Now, it is said among the farmers and families of my village that there are Nisse who live in the haylofts of our barns. Yes, it is also said that they are the guardians of our welfare, and therefore families should treat them with respect. For uh, if they don't, <laughs> these Nisse have uh, been known to cause a bit of mischief in one way or another. <laughs> oh, but of course, all that is neither here nor there, for we know that these mischief makers do not exist except in stories and fairy tales. <laughs> that is neither here nor there, for we know that these mischief makers do not exist. Unless they do exist and are therefore very clever and mischievous indeed. Uh, <laughs> now, the most familiar of these gnomes plays a very important part in the traditional Norwegian Christmas. Yes, his name is Julenissen. He's a very old and uh, rather odd-looking little gnome. <laughs> odd-looking? You're telling the story all wrong, lady. Well, I, I'm sorry, sir. Did you say something? Uh, yeah. Go you! Oh, yes, go you! Yes, don't be shy about that. You have been practicing, haven't you? <laughs> yes, anyway, Eulinitsen has become the traditional gift giver at Christmas time. So... All the children know to be on their best behavior, or you listen won't leave you a thing but a lump of coal. And believe me, I can do it. I've got my eye on you. Especially over here, interrupting the show like that. <laughs> All right, Sigrid. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I lost my train of thought there for a second. <laughs> now, uh... Christmas in Norway is my favorite time of the year. Everyone is walking around with smiles on their faces, humming tunes, and saying... Go you! Yes, that's right, you remember! <laughs> Let me take advantage of Sigrid's ecstatic pause to introduce myself to you. You'll listen at your service. Go you! Go you! Oh, come on, you've been coming to these shows long enough. You know I'm going to keep asking until everybody does it, so got to play along. Go you! Go you! All right, I still see some of you in the back. Everyone, really get into it. It comes from the belly. Go you! Go you! Oh, that's wonderful. You all sound like a bunch of sick cows. <laughs> now, I hope you don't mind if I take the liberty of helping Secret tell her story. Just to kind of spice it up here and there. Maybe you can help out, too. Maybe we'll be able to make a believer out of her. All right, Secret, continue. Uh, <laughs> oh, there are decorations. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, festive decorations. Like, uh... Well, like those, right there. <laughs> oh, and cooking. Holiday cooking fills the homes of Norwegian families in preparation for the big day. Now, here in... Uh, in... Uh, the United States... <laughs> yeah, most of you, you celebrate on... Christmas Day, right? Yes. yes, and you might go to your grandma's or, or to your uncle's house, right? Right. Yes, well, that's, uh, huh, that's, uh, that's not the way we do it in Norway. Oh, no. In Norway, we have a three-day celebration. That's right. Can you believe that? Three whole days. Because in Norway, we like to party. 
party. We like to party. We like to party. And we're gonna whoop. You see, our big, <laughs> big <laughs> celebration day is on uh, Christmas Eve. Yay! <laughs> oh, so, in the middle of the day, party. about 12 o'clock or so, <laughs> oh, everything closes up early. The bells ring in the chapel and the... The, uh, the bells ring in the chapel and... Oh, and, and everyone returns home to, to see their families for the rest of, of the evening. Hello. <laughs> what a nice sound effect you're making. <laughs> okay, I'll just, I'll take that back. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> anyway, so, if the family lives on a farm, they may go out to the barn and feed their animals an extra big helping of the finest oats and barley. Did you hear that? It's Christmas Eve, good friends, so eat well, says the farmer. And uh, can you guess what the piggies are saying in reply? All right, I heard a couple of you. It's not dark yet. I can see the rest of you back there. What are the piggies saying? Oh, 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 there we go. The cows. The cows are going away, too. Let's hear some cows. Oh, we like doing that one. Uh, let's try the piggies one more time. And the cows. Oh, I've got a good idea. Let's put it together. I want Sigrid to hear what my hayloft sounds like. Ready? Animal sounds nice and loud. Come on, louder, louder, louder. there for a second. Oh, I was like, oh no, but no, I get it. Yes, you are You are making funny animal sounds. Okay, moo oink. So cute. Anyway, oh, speaking of the animals, for the birds, we have what's called the Eulinex. Now, uh, now uh, the children of the village, huh, yes, they go out and they find the biggest the biggest sheaf of grain from their harvest. <laughs> you see? And uh, and they place they place they place it on top of a spruce pole <laughs> so that the little birds flying by will have some place to feast. Two. <laughs> you again. Huh? You are sneaky. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. How did you get that bell? Oh, you don't know. That's a magical answer to get out of it, isn't it? Yes. Oh, telekinesis. We have a smart defense over here. <laughs> Listen to that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, can you say lump of coal? <laughs> oh, that's very good. Yes, might want to keep practicing for Christmas morning. Might need it. Okay. Now, of course, you know, the children. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> they don't forget about Ulanissan on Christmas Eve. No, they leave him treats. That's right, they leave treats for me too. Uh, can anybody guess what they leave for me? Cookies. Co cookies, cookies are yummy, but they're a little bit more for that. What's, uh, cookies and milk, that, that's more for that. Uh, what's a fella called with all the reindeer that you love so much? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, right, the ho, ho, ho guy. I'm a little bit more of a he, he, he guy myself. And I prefer, I think I heard one or two people say it, I prefer a great big bowl of Christmas porridge. That's right, porridge. Oh, all right, a couple of you understand. You should see the looks on the kiddies' faces. All right, I understand porridge doesn't sound like uh, such a treat to everybody here, but believe me, when the kiddies leave me a nice steaming bowl of porridge in the hayloft, it just warms me right up on those cold winter nights. It's high in fiber, too. <laughs> all right, Sigrid, continue. Now, you... <laughs> now, you... <laughs> They'll never guess what the children leave for you, Lenison. So uh, let's see off the top of your head. Just try, try to guess. What do you porridge. think? Porridge. Well, that's right. Porridge. <laughs> oh, you're all so smart, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. Now, of course, they leave him a bowl of porridge and a stein of ale. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very excited about that. And as you, Lenison, prepares for 
for his journey delivering Christmas gifts, the Norwegian family begins their celebration. It's lights out. And the parents say, come on children, into the next room, as the entire house is illuminated only by the soft glow of candlelight. Oh yes. Now after a very big feast, everyone gets all excited, especially the kids, because they know that the Christmas tree is in the next room. Oh, I just love this part. All the kiddies are in one room while the parents decorate the tree. And then finally, one of the parents say, Okay, kiddies, let's go into the other room. So they go into the... Here, let, let's act it out. Here, hold my hand. Come on up. You want to come up too, Mr. Telekinesis? All right, here we go. <laughs> what they do is they open the door and look, there's the tree. It's all decorated. There's presents underneath. Here, stand here like you're a couple presents. And you know what? You just don't look right without the bell. Don't you agree? We need to get the bell. What is she going to do when she sees you? This is going to be great. You know what to do with this, don't you? Bring it away, my friend. Bring it away. And go you! <laughs> <laughs> you are quite the kid, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at you. They are working in cahoots now, aren't they? Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, it's such a funny joke, isn't it? <laughs> Joke's over. Take your seat. <laughs> Go on, you too. Yes, that's right. Okay, give them a big hand, everyone. Oh, they were wonderful. Oh, thank you for participating. <laughs> you know, they're just like the children in Norway. After we open gifts, everyone loves to joke around. <laughs> oh, we're having fun, aren't we? <laughs> and then, <laughs> the rest of the evening is exchanging gifts and uh, singing Christmas carols around the Christmas tree until very late at night. Uh, hello, yes. Uh, now that's all on Christmas Eve. Yeah, uh, hello. Uh, now even though the children open up all the... I see you. Yes, you're very friendly. Okay. <laughs> they open up all their presents on, on Christmas Eve. Everyone is practicing their puppeteering now. Okay. Uh, they still get up very early on Christmas morning. Okay, no more sugar for these people here in the army. Uh, you, now some people attend church services, you see, but then the rest of the day is is spent quietly, I'm very worried about some of you, at home with the family, yes, but we're not done yet, no, because the next day, December 26th, is the second Christmas day, that sounds good, right? Yeah. Yes, that's the day for parties and for visiting friends, and don't even think about it. <laughs> It's also time for the Yule Book. In the Yule Book, the kiddies get all dressed up. They go traipsing from door to door, singing carols and asking their neighbors for goodies. Hmm. I'm going to try that right now. Fa la 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 la. Goodies? You're right. Oh, that's great. I ask for a handout, and she puts her hand out. Not, not exactly what I was thinking of. Anybody bring any food? No porridge at all? No. That's all right. That's... Holy hey loss, I just came up with a great idea. I think we can make a believe out a secret after all, but I'm going to need all your help, all right, Freddie? We're going to do this together on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> well, all right. Now you know all about the holidays in Norway. Sorry to burst your bubble on the whole known thing. Sigrid, but, you know, who, who are you talking to? We're over here. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, you, Linus. And... Him too, right? Yeah. Okay, that's you, Vanessa, and it's him. I know, I know. Looks like we finally made a believer out of her, didn't we? Oh, yes, you finally. Did. I couldn't have done it without all of your help. So, as a thank you, we are all going to pledge the gnomish code for the holidays. Ready? All right, here we go. Everyone, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I swear. I swear. That's not nice. You're not supposed to swear. <laughs> it's a joke. Get okay, it a joke. Yes, <laughs> oh. All right, here we go for real this time. Okay. No joking. Okay. I swear. I swear. To uphold the values of Christmas. To uphold the values of Christmas. And keep them in my heart throughout the year. And keep them in my heart throughout the year. 
And I also swear. And I also swear. To eat as much porridge as possible. <laughs> it's another joke. I just can't help myself. I just can't help it. Congratulations, my friends. I hereby dub you all honorary mischief makers for the rest of the day. Give yourselves a round of applause. Let's hear it. And keep it going for Sigrid for putting up with our mischief. Thank you. We gave her a hard time, didn't we? Yeah, no, no, no. Hands off the no. Hands off the no. All right, my friends, I must be on my way back to the hayloft. I have a lot to do before Christmas. So from all of us here at Norway, to each and every one of you, this is Sigrid and you, Lindison, saying... Go you! Happy holidays to you, my friend. Thank you, everyone. Happy holidays. You really want a hug, don't you? I really do, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, no, no, no. Um, I know, we'll do one of these, my no-me. Okay. Ready? Uh -oh. you're, you're stuck, aren't you? Yes. All right, here we go. There you go. <laughs> All right, my friends, we do have time for a few photographs. Crystal, our friend right here, will help you out. So uh, make a Thank line. You. Oh, right here. 